The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. What if I told you there's a new birth control device that some men might opt for instead of a full vasectomy? All they have to do is flip a switch. Sounds pretty intriguing, but does it work? This is a new device. It's called the Bimec SLV. Did I say that correct? I think so. <laughs> yeah. And as you can see, we are joined by urologist Dr. Aaron Spitz to describe what this thing does. So this is a little uh, insert that's placed between the two cut ends of the vas deferens, and it has a conduit that in the open position would allow the sperm to flow through it from one end to the other, so the sperm could still flow up into the semen. And in the off position, it would divert the sperm out of side valve just into the surrounding tissue, but not allow the sperm to flow up into the semen and so create a vasectomy effect. Where's the switch? The switch? <laughs> <laughs> honey, let's make babies. Do you have, Hold do you on have, real quick, honey. Do you have... Right now, the switch is built into it. And so you have to re do you reach down and is there like a little well, like a light? I, I'm just trying to envision this. You or somebody would uh, reach down and uh, <laughs> feel for this and, How and yeah, but it does have a safety in case things get too wild, so it doesn't accidentally. So, so it can be get switched on. externally switched on and off. Yeah, it's designed to be externally switched on and off by squeezing through the skin. Okay. Correct. Can I say okay. that this this It'll sounds happen. like a terrible idea <laughs> so are, doc, are you a fan well you know if it could work it actually is a very exciting idea but i'm very skeptical Careful about whether it could work well <laughs> <laughs> i think that i think that this device sounds sounds better on paper than it actually will For pan sure. out to be because the science behind it is extremely limited it has been tested on one man, and that's the inventor, and it only apparently worked after his fourth surgery, and it only apparently worked right away without any kind of evidence of any long-term right. success. And the concept of putting a stent in this tube intuitively makes sense, but the problem is, is that the diameter of this tube is so, so oh. narrow. It's a third of a millimeter. It's much narrower than the arteries in your heart, which get stented right. to keep them open, that the likelihood that it would actually stay open over yeah. time is, is low and is unproven because, in fact, there have been no animal studies on this. In fact, the inventor opposes animal studies, and the studies have not yet been done. As far as I can tell, they're requesting 25 men to volunteer to be part of a study yet to be done. So traditional vasectomy, a great option. This particular device sounds like oh, it's, it's uh, very, very skeptical, it's unproven. unproven. And, and the other thing, the scenario of let's call a spade a spade. The switch is under the skin. Um, I think it's off. on position. <laughs> Got to get tested so to find out. So we're not there 